Hey there, Sensei. Hey there, Sensei. This is the only G.I. Joe toy that I ever bought. This is not just any G.I. Joe toy, and I did not buy this as a toy, but as a symbol. I was very specific when I chose this particular diorama. It comes complete with a case, a weapon, and loaded with symbols. Exactly my style. So, what does this mean? Well, this means something to the Golden Cobra. And what it means is what it is called. This particular diorama is, in fact, a profit director, Destro. This duke which is a G.I. Joe, happens to be unlike all the other dukes. Not black as space and red with trim, but it is in fact a spotted Destro complete with cape. And this sends the message. It's a Duke, G.I. Joe, but it is an evil Duke. He likes to be called his evilness, just in case you didn't know. And this, well, never doubt my evil. Never doubt it. I'd like to extend with this speaking of the sensei. A message to the co chosen one. A message to the chosen one. I will be your wizard teacher, but I am one of those weird wizards that has one HP. And if you become my student, you have only one requirement. And that requirement is in order to become the grand puppeteer trained by the one and only Mimic Puppeteer. You need only do one thing, Chosen One. Never doubt my evilness. Never doubt it. Chosen one, it's important to understand I've been busy obtaining technology and identifying this location in order to rebuild the sector of Cobra Commander. We will need this in order to 
save the world later on. And I have identified those servo mechanisms, their location, how they interface with the scepter and its history, and where this weird little black box came from. The scepter of Cobra Commander. And with that said, Destro, you are clearly at large. For you are a spotted Destro, such as this. However, I, unlike everybody else, don't doubt your evilness. And also, I don't give a shit. After all, you know I wasn't just looking at you all those years ago. You know I was watching an adventure unfold right before my very mind. Doing the impossible. Making me not understand that there are limits. Making me understand that there are no limits and that anything is possible. 